it's a good one for me to be present here in the 2023 annual Congress at SFU to establish that the fertility treatment, including the system of protective ovarian pregnancy, is a very rare complication for both spontaneous and ART technology. Uh, the estimated incidence is 0.5 to 30 percent of all ectopic pregnancies. Ovarian pregnancy can be explained by one of the following two mechanisms. Direct fertilization of an ovulated mature egg inside the ovary or retrograde embryo migration back into the ovary via fallopian tube. Accordingly, ovarian pregnancy is classified as primary or secondary. In vitro fertilization, embryos are transferred into the uterus and under the ultrasound guide. Therefore, ovarian pregnancy in IVF most likely occur via retrograde migration. However, the remote possibility of fertilization of an intrafolicular and ovulated egg during intercourse around the time of egg retrieval cannot be ruled out. Early detection of ovarian pregnancy is challenging, and in many cases, the diagnosis is made during urgent surgical intervention due to acute abdominal pain or bleeding. Additionally, preoperative diagnosis is not common as sonographic appearance might mimic the corpus or hemorrhagic cyst as well. My case presentation will present a case of 24 years old, nearly grafted woman, presented to our hospital with sudden onset of suprapubic pain. At the time of her presentation, she was post transfer day 25, correlated with an estimated gestational sac of six weeks. Transvaginal ultrasound demonstrated a moderate amount of blood and the blood clots in the pelvis. No intrauterine pregnancy was observed and suspicious mass in the right adenic cell, about 5 by 4 cm. Thus, ruptured tubal ectopic pregnancy was suspected. An urgent laparoscopy was performed shortly after. After we aspirate the blood inside the, the abdomen, this short video to see the free hemorrhage inside the abdomen. And the second, we can find this at the mass of complex, maybe ovarian, tube ovarian, after aspiration or the mass outside the abdomen. We find the tube is empty, healthy, free, and we find here the ovary stub, and you can feel this suspicious mass. We got it from the ovary and they got uh, to the histopathology. We check the other tube and the ovary as well. And to find the contralateral adenexa were free. The operative and the most operative course were otherwise uneventual. The patient was instructed to have serial measurement of serum EHC until declined to zero. The pathological report confirmed the presence of chorionic villi in the ovary, validating the diagnosis on an ovarian ectopic pregnancy. Thank you.